Welcome to my channel. I am GDP, and last night in our live stream, we did the broken spaces on my trash account, and we cleared broken spaces and 58 tickets with the budget Gruta Boost team. So what I did uh, recently on this anniversary is on my trash account, I built a Gurk and 10 star for buffing my Garuda. And I also built a nine star uh, Mr. Drake. Uh, so this at nine star, he gains 100% uh, defensive reduction. Uh, you don't need to go to the full 10 star to achieve this. So if you want to go truly budget with Drake, you only have to go nine star. Um, at six star, I think it's sixty percent, and at five star, it's thirty percent. Uh, so at nine star is pretty much like the budget spot for it, kind of like Delosium. So if you if it, like it goes for the Delosium army, if you want to build a triple Delosiums with a Drake, you only have to go nine star for all of those, and hopefully they'll fix Wolf um, or not Wolf uh, Thakwa's interactions with Wolf and Snake. But let's go ahead and gear up our heroes here. Uh, I'm gonna give him a. T I think I'm just gonna give him the full set. No, I can't give him the full set. Okay, I think I can. I'll just make that five star right there, real quick. <laughs> GDP and budget, not what I was expecting. <laughs> well, this account got four Russells uh, for only buying that one pack. Um, I did 11 flips on this account. Yep, so I got it, I did 11 flips and I got four Russells. So I'm actually pretty happy about that on this account. That's going to save me feathers because I only have 209 feathers on this account. So I'm actually really happy I got four Russells. Um, yeah, so that was really good luck. So let's go ahead. What was I doing in here? I was going to make a armor here. I think I was going to make this right here for the Drake. No, it was the weapon one, not that one. No, no, it was the what? No, yeah, I think it was right. Yes, yes. I want the two star, two, two. And then I'm going to run, I'm going to do magic source to start off uh, just to get that, uh, that. Do I even need to do that, actually? Well, I guess the magic source would help for the active, for the dodge. Uh, probably could just go full tank with him, to be honest. Every time he does the active skill or basic hit, yeah. So I don't even need this, only for, I guess, getting dodge. I don't need dodge in the first round, to be honest. So I'll just go fearless. Just so I don't have to change gear from later. Gurk here has a full uh, preset with uh, Demon Bell. Art Watcher has a 2 2 split with uh, going with the fearless armor. Uh, Sigmund here. He's going with a 2 2 with a uh, Barrier of Destiny. And then our Garuda here is going to go with a 1-3 split, a Holy Damage Attack Attack, and Antler's Cane. I uh, got full red. And then we're going to switch between, I think, the Cruz and the Belrain and kind of just see what, what, what helps or what will be better. I imagine the Belrain might be better just for the attack buff, but let's go with uh, Magic Sword. So if, it, if any of you guys are new to my uh, to my stream or any of my accounts, uh, this account that I got here was given to me in January, and uh, it was VIP thirteen, like pretty quickly I think, and then it like uh, became free to play almost like right before third anniversary. 
So, I mean, I broke the free-to-play status on it. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect? You, I mean, coming to me, to be honest. I think we're going to start with the cruise. All right, I'm going to have the Gurk get hit a lot so he can uh, do as many actives. That should be easy peasy in one hit. I'm not going to watch that. Uh, there's no point in watching this one either, I don't think. It's the next one that you're going to... This one right here. All right, so if this one, I, I expect it to kill it in one hit. Um, if you guys don't know, Broken Spaces Stage 3 has about 7.2 billion. Um, so I actually use Broken Spaces 3 as kind of like a judgment of if a team's going to be good or not. Uh, the way I expect a team to be good is that they kill this in uh, one hit. If they don't, it's not going to do super, super great in Broken Spaces. And when I say super great, I mean like 100 or less tickets. How's it going, Tartarus? Alright, so we got one... Uh, Gurk buff on the Garuda. Where did all the Gurk buffs go? Looks like two went on Drake. Uh, Gurk got stunned again. He actually made it for once. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it. You should have big actives here. Alright. It's starting to get big. Alright, yeah, Garuda got it. Uh, unfortunately, Garuda only has one Gurk buff. Oh, she just got a second. That's good. So this next active should be pretty big. Oh, she's stunned. So that means the active in the fifth round is going to be even larger. And she got the Phoenix. That's actually a perfect situation. Yep, 1.5 billion. Uh, destroyed that one. So this team's going to do pretty well. So it did 6.3. Let's go ahead and just, I'll skip this one. GDP, uh, gross domestic product, don't you know? Let's see here. I'm going to put the Heart Watcher and the Gurk in the front here. I think I need, no, I need to switch to Purify. All right, so this will probably do pretty well here. I did. It is actually Granddaddy Perp. Um, I made this username. Oh wow, that was over 10 years ago now when I when I was playing the world of Warcraft when I was in uh, college I started playing world of Warcraft I named my character granddaddy perp and I just the name just stuck ever since so I've had, I've had this name for over 10 years I think I've had this name probably I think I actually made it before. Wow, I actually think I made it when I had my Xbox account a long time ago. <laughs> All 
All right, so G the Garuda has one buff from Gurk so far. So we'll get an active from him in the seventh round and see where that, hopefully that will land on him again. For her, I should say. GDP sounds like a currency. And just basically all the guys, just the, or the entire guild mates and WoW just were just calling me GDP. And then uh, one of my alts on uh, on WoW, I just named G E E D E E P E, <laughs> and it was uh, and I just have used that a lot since. Uh, thank you for the Della guide. I recently got back into the game, and it saved me from investing into a scary army. Yeah, don't build that. Don't build a scary army. Um, even before scary army, I mean a uh, Delosium army, uh, you should have be built. You should have built like a Garuda, like a double Garuda setup is really good. And so it's a less of investment because you don't have to build three to four scaries. And you can actually do well in PvP. Ruta actually has three Gurk buffs right now. She got four now. Wow, that's every single uh, Gurk buff. The Phoenix did not go on her that time though. How close am I to affiliate? Um, if I stream tomorrow, I'll meet all the qualifications. Uh, today is the sixth day of the streaming, and then tomorrow will be the seventh day. So this is going, uh, a lot slower than I had hoped. <laughs> I need a uh, cruise here. I might swap the cruise in or out for the bell rain. Just see if the attack might be better. Gert got all five, uh, or Gert got all five Gert buffs there. That's interesting. Alright, so the Gurk buff did go on Garuda, so that's good. But yeah, so uh, I want to see how much damage six Scurries would do and if none of them died. Uh, six Scurries is trash. You don't want to do that. Heart, Heart Watcher is basically a guaranteed hero in PvE. Like, I mean, not guaranteed, required. Like, you have to, you have to have Heart Watcher in your team no matter what. Uh, and then, on top of that, you need a burn hero for your Phoenix buff. So, in my situation, it is Sigmund. In the scary army, it's most likely going to be a Death Sworn. Uh, reason being, you want the Death Sworn to die just to uh, target all the uh, Phoenix buffs onto the Skiris. Um, if you had an E5 Sigmund, I mean, it might work. Might be a little bit better, I'm not really sure on that. Kind of wished, uh, I don't know if Barry ever tested that. Did Barry ever test an E5 Sigmund in the scary army? I'm right back. I'm gonna go turn on the uh, heat real quick. It's getting cold in here.
Barry only used Death Sworn. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but the thing is, is uh, technically, I don't think Deathsworn's better just because the simple fact that antlers or glittery antlers exist. Um, Sick has armor strip, exactly. And normally, you want to run Kiss of Ghost on the Skiris. Uh,. But since these new artifacts are coming out that are better than Kiss of Ghost and PvE, like Antler's Cane, and I guess the Staff of Punisher is pretty good now with that unhit effect, but not as good as Antler's Cane. There's you, you have no other option. Glittery's Antler's Cane is just like the best on any hero, pretty much. So basically, if you had an E5 Sigmund as your burn hero to re armor reduce and had theoretically like four glittery, glittery antlers canes, it would be a lot better. Alright, so we had 5.4. That's higher than last time, I think, yeah. 4.8 billion on Gru. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Or Gruda. The only thing is, uh, when all your heroes are slower with Gr than Gruda, you actually kind of limit your damage. This sound like a good uh, Delosium nine star, Sig nine star, Hot Watcher nine star, Rosa, Aqua Orma six star. I'm guessing you're trying to replicate. Hmm. I don't know why you'd want to run the Rosa. There's no reason to run the Rosa, really, except for damage reduce, I guess. But, uh... Because you're going to be replicating the Sigmund's armor. You have no other hero to run. And then, I mean, I guess that's, if that's what you have, then that's what you just got to use, right? I mean... I would say that uh, splitting your Delosium, your 9-star Delosium into two 6-star Delosiums is probably better. Just for the simple fact that you might replicate Heart Watchers, uh, attack reduce a little bit more, and you'll replicate Sigmund's... Uh, basically you'll have more replications essentially. You'll have, three, you'll have four instead of three. So... Instead of building one 9-star, go for two 6-stars, and then level each one up to a 9-star. Or we run like a 6-star a and a 5-star. It's probably still better, because then now you have two extends instead of one extend. Because if you only have one Delosium, you're not actually going to be able to uh, extend the armor reduction all the way to the end. And you're also not going to be able to extend the, the burn buff if your burn hero dies. So if you're running a uh, Delosium as a support, you only want to, you really only need two Delosium, not three. You're limiting your uh, your damage potential by going three Delosium uh, by boosting Gruda's damage. That's why you want to go for two. Uh, that way you can put in 
like a Bell Rain, you can put in a Drake, you can put in another hero rather than Delosium. Because Delosium's not gonna do you much other than the next that just is essentially replicating your Heart Watcher's uh attack reduce faster to get to that negative one really quick. But if you're trying to boost Karuda's damage, you don't you don't really you shouldn't really care about that too much. If you're going for a Thakwa, then it's okay to have the free Delosium. If you're eventually going for a thought, or like a dot, good dot hero, then yeah, three Delosium's fine. Does Delosium work with Horus? Horus's dot is just absolutely horrendous. So no, it doesn't really work that good. I mean, it work. I mean, you you replicate it. It just it's not very good damage. All right, so I'm gonna actually just skip through this. I, I I'm sick of these grooves. As I say that, I get the highest damage out of them all. Seriously. Alright, so a budget Garuda can do 8 billion. On the Gru stage. Alright, so this is the one... No, that, no, it's the next one where I'm gonna have some issues. Well, this one's gonna have a lot of CC. I could run the gust in, but we'll see what the CC is like. I might uh, put a magic stone sword on the Gurk or something instead of a uh, energy. Did Garuda even get... I think Garuda got that? I can't tell. There's too many buffs on Garuda for me to tell if there's a Gurk buff on her or not. Oh. Oh, your team has 10-10-9... Uh, your Dellas are 10, 10, 9, and your Thakwa Z5, Heart Watcher is 10, and Jerk E5. I mean, you should, if you, if you get a, get a Glittery, do you have a Glittery Antler Skein? Or just a regular Antler Skein? And, uh, also, if you're running... If you're running that team, you have no burn. So if you have no burn buff, then uh, you're, you're limiting your damage. Most likely, yes. Make, uh, make, just make sure your Drake's attacking be before your Athaqua each round. You don't want your Drake attack before. I mean, not after. You want your Drake attack before, not after. Gerudo only got one uh, Gurky buff here on this entire attempt, but 6.8 billion, that's still good. 6 billion from Gerudo right there. Do I have a golden bow artifact for Garuda for this way? Um, 
Let me just go there. Um, on this account, maybe I don't know. I don't really know what this art, this account really has. Is there an easy burn hero that I can make? Um, just make like a five star Sigmund. Uh, that way you have uh, armor reduction getting replicated. Uh, but I mean your Dossians aren't leveled so it's not going to matter too much. But So I guess actually since you have 10 star Dossians it's probably better to do a Death Swarm. Just because it's only one uh, debuff but if you have uh, like a two e5 Dolosiums like I do it might be better to run the Sigmund just for the armor reduction for the Dolosiums to get like a couple billion extra damage So yeah, I'll just probably run a Death Sworn then and, and let it die. That jar is getting melted. Alright, so we got big big crits coming up here. Oh no, she didn't clear herself. Oh, she had uh we just missed out. Oh man. We probably missed out on like two billion right there. At least. Alright, so let's see here. I don't have it. Yeah, I don't have it. Am I in Maverick? Are you talking about uh, my main account? Uh, that's uh, I mean, I got champion. I've run, I won IDA twice. What are you talking about? Like, what am I in? Like right now? Let's see here. I am rank 211 right now. I am 824 points. Stay there for a few minutes. <laughs> Are you going to try to fight me? Yeah, I don't push. I'm not going to push. Uh, actually, no. Have I pushed today? Oh, I just got a hidden. I got to fight that hidden. Oh, maybe I'll leave. 
Yeah, I haven't done the fights yet on that account yet. Alright, so we only got one Gurk buff, so... 2.6, yeah, we're still limited. That, would, that could have been a lot higher with all, with all the Gurk buffs, but... 7.4 billion. So I, th I think we can get over 10 billion. But we're going to lose the, uh, the faction advantage here soon. Yeah, I know you mean Reaper. On my alt account, when I pushed Maverick on my alt, I actually had to switch stuff around. I couldn't just smash everything. Gurk is 25%. So each time he does his active, he gives three and random allies 25% holy damage. That's permanent for the rest of the fight. And he keeps staying CC'd. Eventually I'm gonna make the Gurk, I think, E3 on this account. Um, we need five Gurks. I mean, you could do double Gurk and then take out the Bell Rain and then the fights where you don't need the heals, so you can just run double Gurk. <laughs> That'd be hilarious to see. You'd, you would be able to get up to like, I don't know, like two hundred percent maybe. If you get if you get every single buff on the hero that you want, you can get two hundred percent. Because the maximum you can get is five. Well, I changed that with the new with the addition to Demon Bell, the new Demon Bell. You can probably go higher than five because you would ha you can put uh, de the new demon bell on Heart Watcher and Drake, and then also probably put on the other Gurks, and then just get those actives just rolling through. Get like 200, 300 every time because holy damage has no cap. You can you can just stack that as high as possible. Does anyone know how many tickets we started at? I guess I can look at my thumbnail. Or my thing here. So I started at 233. Okay. 233. Would you even call this team budget? I mean, it's got what two light heroes leveled, a, a nine star light or dark. Is this team is is this team considered budget? I mean, they're not leveled. For the damage it can do, it's cheaper. Yeah. I guess it's budget in the t in the sense of how much fodder you have invested in it. But it's got two light heroes leveled up to ten star, 
and a dark leveled up to nine star. That's pretty easy for for a player to get, especially a Drake. Doing better than my four E five broken space team. <laughs> This is not budget, <laughs> lol. <laughs> well, I guess if you want to talk about uh, how much water you have invested in this team, it's pretty budget. Because you only have two E5s and then two 10 stars. Ooh, 10 billion. Look at that. Well, the thing is, is if someone is, okay, before Delosium Army even existed, if there was a player that purely wanted to focus on PvE and didn't care about PvP at all, you would build two Garudas and a Gurk. But I think everything in the PvE scene kind of changed once uh, Delosium Army is a th was a thing. And then it changed again with Drake. But Gurk is still a really good PvE hero. sustain this is nice I can get my whole team to live on this it made you pause your second Groot at 10 star yeah and as I said like Drake Drake and Delosium army just like completely changed the entire scene of PvE we lost our heroes in late rounds that's not bad but only 2 billion Hopefully we can do better. If not, I might have to do some switch around, switch stuff switching around if I want to do a higher damage. But we can see, we can, or we can just just use this team the entire time and just see how many tickets it do. I don't think this is team's gonna live in uh, the last one. I might have to take out the Drake for the last Broken Spaces 7, or the Gurk. I might just take out the Gurk. So we lost Heart Watcher at round 7. So she didn't get to stack up all of her marks. Alright, starting to lose people. That Drake with the dodge though, staying alive at nine star, and the Sigmund staying alive, but that he he just has a lot of damage reduce. There's also a faction advantage on the uh, the corpse demon. All right, see you later, Jack. 1.7. Yeah, everyone died that time. I will, I'll skip this one. Two point five. So it looks like they were about two. I mean. We can just do it with this. I could I could put in the Gusson and do a lot more, probably.
you know, that, that Oberon's gonna just keep getting uh, stacks every time there's a Twine that goes out, and he's just gonna eventually melt my team. As long as, as long as we dodge, or like clear, I don't know, don't get seated too much. Don't get twined on his active too much. Oh, there goes the Gurk and the Heart Watcher. I think we got all of Heart Watcher's marks though. Unless she got CC'd. I don't remember if she oh she probably did get CC'd, so. Would it be worth using the carry as a support? Probably, actually. Is that four billion? Alright, so he has not done. Yeah, Obron has not done an active yet. Still has not done an active. So I think uh, this one will probably live all the rounds. Oh, Drake just died. As I say that. Alright, so this is a guy's energy reduced again. Unfortunately, we lost the Drake on the big actives for the Gerda. Two point eight. Ooh, there's a five billion. Two point eight again. Four point eight. Let's try this. Do this one more time. Two point one, yeah. So I definitely do think uh, taking her out or him. What is Gurk? Is that a girl or boy? I don't even know. Probably a boy. Yep, it's definitely hot definitely on higher damage ceiling, five point five. Five point nine. All right. Four 
4.3. I might have to run the same team in uh, Broken Spaces 7. 3.4. Or I can just run the Amun Ra in Bell Rain. 2.1. The Uberon's still alive, so. Still need to carry. Completely unrelated, but how do you recommend building Olivia for PvP? Uh, HP, HP, and either Rune's power if you don't have crown, like a spare crown. But if you have a spare crown laying around, throw a crown on there. got Gatorade here, I got water, nice uh, little broken space action going on. I love, I mean, I don't like skipping broken spaces too much now, especially since uh, Tossium Army kills it in like 20 hits, but uh, it's once a month and it's something that I don't get to see much anymore in Idle Heroes because it dies so fast. I miss the days when I first started and I was like, oh, Broken Spaces actually takes a long time. It's actually hard to kill. But now PvE content is an absolute joke when you optimize. Alright, you got a big active coming here from Garuda in round 15. Does get the Phoenix. What's the active going to be? 1.1. 1 .1. Nice. 6 billion there. So I think we've done 33 tickets so far. Honestly, Crown's versatile. I could see it working for any hero in any circumstances. Wish I had five more. Yeah, well, that pretty much sums up Crown right now. Um, so if, you, if, it, if you're a new player and you don't really know the history of Crown, uh, when Crown first came out, it actually was not that great of an artifact. Uh, Every, every you're running you're, the, the, just because you're running different things um, at the time you were most likely running uh, a kiss of ghost Garuda you're probably running like a withered armor Horus some demon bells and magic stone swords maybe I, don't, I think even MSS at the time of crown was not used that much in the upper end of the meta and crown just was not looked at as like a very good artifact when it first came out but I always knew all damage would be good I mean I, I figured DH games would add something that would be all damage that is other than like Ada um, but yeah so once Carrie came in with her DMs her energy reduce being true damage that just instantly shot up Crown as like one of the best artifacts in the game. Um, so, yeah, thanks, Carrie. 
crown is now basic basically if you want to not die from carry from like a three to four carry team, you just stack your team with crowns. And that would like help your team live. So essentially you want to in endgame PvP, you're either running Crown, Rui Scepter, A and B, or Demon Bell pretty much. There's not many artifacts you're running other than those ones. And the end 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 game. If uh, you're going against uh, a Sherlock team, you can use the, the glittery candy bar as like a situational item. But uh, other th but other than going against like a whole bunch of locks, you don't really need that candy bar. But if you do, you might. Um, so those are basically the best artifacts in the game with Crown. Can this team beat Broken Spaces Seven? Sure it can. I might have to use uh, Amon Ra instead of carry though. And Amon Ra is only E3. You can use a 10 star Amon Ra on Broken Spaces se uh, 7. Just the, the, the double shields is enough. What artifact is on the Garuda? Uh, the Antler's Cane. Antler's Cane is the best artifact for Garuda. Uh, Antler's Cane is the best artifact on basically any hero that is PvE. Antler's Cane. Antler's Cane, Antler's Cane, Antler's Cane on everyone. Especially if it's glittery. The only heroes that would use a, a Staff of Punisher... Honestly, none. Eight point four billion, that's really good. Eight billion. The grid it popped off. Even if you're not using Drake, um, if, you, if as long as you have a Sigmund in your team, you use Antlers King. If you can have your Sigmund live your all all rounds, uh, you use Antlers King. If you can't get your Sigmund to live and you have to switch over to Death Swarm, then you might have to go to Kiss a Ghost. But still, sometimes Antlers King might be better. It depends on the armor of the hero. If it's a if it's a low armor hero, then you probably don't have to use the Kiss of Ghost. I might have to use uh, Amon Ra here instead of carry. I'm going to have to use Amon Ra here. Yeah, even if you have one Siggy, as, as I said, uh, the best the best PvE teams in the game were Double Gerudo, Sigmund, and uh, Belrain. I need, I need Amon-Ra. Are the upgraded Punishers good for PvE? Uh, in Aspen Dungeon, yes. Uh, Probably in uh, tower. In tower, it's probably pretty good uh, because antler, the glittery antlers cane would need a bunch of build up time to become really, really good. Uh, so dildo would actually help you in the uh, for like early burst, probably in, in towers in some situations. 
but if you're in broken spaces, flame shrine, nah, don't use don't use the new dildo. It's not that great. You, uh, Antlers cane is just that much better. I mean, I've never used. I mean, the only thing, the only way the new d uh, staff of Punisher would be good on Gruda is if each individual feather hit added that bonus damage. If that happened, then yes, it'd probably be really good. But I haven't tested it yet. I, haven't, I mean, I could test it in the future, but I, I highly doubt that. You're going to be getting all that extra damage per feather. It probably only counts as one hit once, which is not that great. The new Antler's Cane is just infinitely better because of that stacking damage. We lost our bell ring late, but everyone else stayed alive. Yeah, that's a nine star Drake. Five point five billion. So that, that's that's really good. That's really good for broken spaces. Seven. So we got two E5s in this team, an E3, 10 star, and a 9 star. And then a 6 star Sigmund. And yeah, without Drake, I don't think we'd be doing 5.5 .5 billion. Probably be doing more like three billion, two and a half maybe. I think I, I think without the Drake, I'd probably top out at like three point five, maybe four. Yeah, yeah. You don't. This Amon Ra does not need to be E three. This Amon Ra can be ten star. Um, I actually, this Amon Ra was ten star on this account for like the longest time. And that's what I used for Broken Spaces 7 on this account. I just recently got more Amon Ra copies on this account, so I switched over. Oh, we lost our Hot Watcher at round 8. So that's like, I think, two rounds shy. Of the maximum damage possible. Alright, Garuda probably have a pretty decent active here. 2 billion on the Ada. Alright, so hopefully we'll get a Phoenix buff here. Five billion once again. Everyone died except for the Groot at the end right there. So we've only used oh uh, what is that? 30 39 tickets so far. Started at 
The only thing that like kind of sucks with uh, having your Drake go slower than your Garuda on this stage is if uh, Aspen horrifies your Drake, then you're going to be missing out on that stat reduction for a couple rounds until your Drake gets its active or is not horrified. What do you think the bosses will be if they introduce higher level broken spaces? Oh god, if they add a carry... What if... That would be insane if it was like a carry. All that carry Drake. <laughs> All that dodge. Energy reduce and dodge. That would be insane. Alright, so we got the maximum damage from the uh, Heart Watcher, but we lost our Sigmund, unfortunately. We have a burn buff for Gruda's active right here, so that's good. But it wasn't much. 3 billion, yeah, so we lost our heroes there. Alright, so that's uh, that was our 40th ticket. This was our 41st ticket. I mean, they're probably going to do one of the new heroes, so... They could do, like, Gustin. Maybe a Gustin boss. With, uh... Terra. Maybe a Gustin Terra. That'd be insane. Sherlock carry. Could you imagine getting CC'd by like in a dove by a freaking broken spaces boss? Oh man. Yo, if, if they had a, uh, if they did that, I'd run like candy bars, upgraded candy bars on everyone. They said in the near future. It doesn't mean they can't do it in like. November or December or I don't know later. We lost Sigmund. Sigmund, you gotta stay alive, buddy. Well, if only bosses could be CC'd. I'm gonna probably pet would like petrify a bunch. I'll just stick like a Rui Scepter or something. I don't think we're going to lose our Sigmund this time. Alright, so the Ada does not have armor reduced right now. So that was actually... Well, actually, no, the Drake. I forgot the Drake. Um... So if you guys don't know, uh, when Drake has stats at zero, uh, Sigmund won't put a armor reduce icon above the boss. Because there's technically no armor to reduce, so he won't put the debuff. So if, you're, if you have a Delosium army with a Drake, keep that in mind, because it actually removes... Uh, a dot or a debuff that can get applied.
So everyone's gonna live this time. Well, as I said that, they just get smashed. That's fine. The people that needed to live, lived. Four point five. Uh, Sigmund. Alright, there you go, buddy. Come on, stay alive. He still has almond raw shields. Well, not anymore. So, we're gonna get a new set of almond raw. No, we're not. Aspen's gonna. Yeah, we're gonna get an active. That, wait, was that, was that a visual bug? Because Aspen didn't use his active when he was full energy. Ah, uh, Sigmund died once again. Alright, so we're gonna, I'm actually going to skip a couple times here. Five billion, okay. Yeah, it's a visual bug. The energy visual bugs existed for a long time. It just it's the, it just catches me off all the time. Ever since ever since I've played this game, the there's been visual bugs of energy bars. Five point one. Damage is gonna go way up once this Ada dies. I know that. Eight billion. Nice. Um, there is Stream Labs. Okay, I was waiting for you to do that. It all depends on what hero the Garudas use the feathers on active skill. That is very true. If Garuda uses all the feathers on the Drake debuffed hero, it's going to melt. I want to wait until the, uh, the Ada dies. And that way we can get all the feathers concentrated onto one hero. That nine billion? Yes it is. Wow. He is about to die here. Alright, so now all the stat reduction is going to be on the Aspen. Six billion. Yeah, so we'll probably see a consistently higher Point 
mean, this is still very consistent. Four bill plus with this team. Four billion, about four billion in broken spaces seven, about four, five, six months ago was considered super, super good. Anything over like six billion was like godlike about like seven months ago, eight months ago. And this will be probably the last attempt. So we started off at 233, went down to 175. That's pretty good. 58. 58 tickets. So actually. My budget Delosium army did it in. No, so my my Del my budget Delosium army with the Sigmund did it in eighty four. So a, a nine star Delosium army with a, a E five Sigmund took a lot more tickets than this. So keep that in mind on your uh, Delosium army's uh, dot hero. Uh, the Thakwa just, if you have a Thakwa, it just severely, re it just like reduces it, but, uh, Nakia is going to be really, really good. It's going to be probably, you're probably going to be in the 40 to 50 ticket range, maybe 30 ticket range with Nakia. Uh, yeah. I think, I think a Thakwa is going to be like probably... I might be able to get a Thakwa down to 15 tickets. Which would be pretty insane. Let's go ahead and collect our rewards here. Alright, very nice. I wonder how would... How would you go? A fuck with three fish boys, heart watcher, and Jake. A fuck with Bob. Oh yeah, with Wolf. So actually, if they uh, if they fix the fuck was uh, bleed and poison, I wouldn't go with Wolf. Actually, I would go a snake. The reason for that is. When you have Drake in your team with a Thakwa, both of them are attacking the same target 100% all the time. Uh, there's gonna be no stats on that on that hero, so Thakwa is gonna be hitting a statless hero every time. So the the 30% armor break on Wolf is actually uh, worthless. And the 20% skill damage from uh, Snake is actually better than 10% precision. Uh, so Snake would actually be the better hero or better pet to use instead of Wolf. So I would probably, I'm my main, once I get the gold, I'm going to regress my Wolf into a snake if they fix a Thakwa, but that's only if they ever fix a Thakwa. I don't think they will. I don't know. I've been back and forth with them for weeks on that, and they don't, they, they think, they say it's how it's supposed to be. I'm telling them it's not. I'm telling them that they, that your dots are screwed up, and I know it is, and they say they're looking into it, but we'll see if they ever fix it.